and then Sanji launches a thunderbolt attack against against Jason Howe. And then he may defense it with a dark force shield. <sighs> then Sanji does a figure eight and lunges towards Jason. Throwing one heck of a punch. Yeah! <laughs> but to be frozen but to be frozen in mid here by his dark force. <gasps> and Roshu arches in shock. And then Mr. Jason flings Sanchu away from the force. Ah! Ah! And, so and Roshu is just ready to, to catch him, and then she catches him. Oof! Sanchu! Sanchu! Are you alright? Wake up! I'm sorry, what'd you say? Uh, my angel was right on time to catch my home run. Oh, I love you too, sweetheart. And then gang up with uh, Rose Chu support. The uh, Rose Chu supporting Sanchu with her body. She, she says, Sanchu, let's go. There's no reasoning with that jerk. But forgiveness, just like Joseph taught us and Jesus. One. And then Sanchu just looks at back, looks back at Jason with a mean grimace. Mm. Meanwhile, while Sanchu is uh, decides to, he jumps up to the ceiling from the inside room, and then he crawls out. To the, to the door's entrance on the ceiling. And they launches a vine whip. And he clings to the middle the middle column. And then he make, and then using these sticky appendages, he he climbs he climbs around the uh, column. And then he makes a violent leap down. But back in the uh, some of the sunny second floor as Sanji and Roshu make their way out, Jason comes. That's right, Roshu, go! Go and play with your pickle. And he throws a, he throws a real pickle, a veg, the vegetable pickle, and hits Rosie on the head. Boom! And she, and then she looks down, and then she gets offended a little bit, and then she looks down upon it, and then she picks it up. And she gets really angry, and then she breaks it in half in one fist. And she gets up and starts to get really, really angry. And she's got fire in her eyes. And then she just takes a then she takes a look back at the jerk with a straight tail. Uh -huh. But in the last same moment before she uh, really gets angry, she warns she asks Sanchi to fetch her clothes. And he says, "Uh, sure." And then she uh, she unzips her boots and then she jumps out of her boots. And she jumps very high and there in the midair she. Derobes herself and Sanchu catches her clothes. She's like, he's like, oh. She lands midway between Sanchu and Jason in her in her bra and panties, and she says, "I've got three shocking bits for you, jerk." And during a short time, she thinks to herself, "I am the power. I am the warrior. I am the almighty woman. True to all my gender, I will overthrow, overpower." On any evil and good or good man who defies us, and make him succumb, make him succumb to our will, I have the almighty Eurus that makes me strong and super powerful enough to protect the loved ones within me until they emerge in a glorious birth. But my but my ferocious will, I shall punish who he who has defiled my people with the worst unnatural addition ever by this one's heinous hand. I am woman! Hear me roar! And after a transformation, she lunges right at him. And she sits on it and she sits on his sh on his shoulders, but a front to his face. And then she digs into his head. Lakes a hope leaks a hope makes a whole bunch of scratches. And then she leans leans down to chop him on his chop his head. And then he, she lets out a mighty thunderbolt. <laughs> and Sancho's like, "Whoa!" And then she pounces. Away, and then she, after she's done, she makes him fall. She lets him fall to the ground. And then she pounces back towards Sancho. <sighs> and yet, uh, the Jason is still alive, by just uh, hanging on, hanging on a thread. He say, "I should be dead." But dark forces keep me alive. Wow, what a show that was! In her emotional recovery, Rosju transforms back to her naked self. 
which is a good reason for Sonic to have Hatcher to have her clothes on hand. Rosie, are you okay? I'll be okay. I just need to recover. Anyway, here are your clothes. I'll wait for you. And a couple of minutes later, they're in the elevator. And Sonic is like, Wow, Rosie, I never thought you could be so strong. Yeah. You even had me going, Wow. Great. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sweet boat. No worries. We'll get you home and you can rest for a while. You were awesome. Yeah. Hmm. What happened? I became so angry and then I transformed into some monster. It took over me like some primal instincts. I couldn't control it. I hope this thing doesn't emerge again. Anyway, the veil bear comes down quickly. But anyway, wild. It lands on the ground, right in front of the uh, Elvair entrance on the back, on the south side of the uh, column, and then he makes a fine whip, clings to the ceiling, and he launches and he launches himself to the ceiling, and then he crawls above the front entrance to wait for Sanji and Rosie's return. And then a couple of minutes later, Sanji and Rosie approach the uh, exit, approach the entrance exit, and Wild leaps down from the ceiling in front of them to greet them. Hmm. Wild. Glad to see glad to see you're safe. Did you find the crystal? Yes, I got it. I had to I had to hide the power within my arms. I'll release them when I get them when I give them the Pai Chan. Hmm. Well, I'm afraid our mission was not a success. That Jason is a real jerk! Ah! I guess all we can do is pray for its the website's downfall. Hmm. Well, let's get back to Quick Film. Magic Chan? And then and then Back in Quickville, Magic Chan hears the, hears the telepathic cry, and he's like, I read y'all. Sanchi, I shall teleport you three back to Quickville right now. Later on, in the mayor's office, hmm. Sign Allison is, uh, preparing, is, uh, starting, is doing some documenting work. He said, sign this, deny this, deny that, approve that. Hmm. I shouldn't have left Hollywood. Then, within the, uh, office, and the file cabinet room where we got uh, where Crystal is hanging around along with Pai Chan the uh, crystals they have. Hmm. Magic Chan says you got and Wild Anderson and Magic Chan says you have the crystals. I, he says yes. Legendary crystals here I call reveal your powers to my arms hallowed halls and then the crystals appear in his hands and then they put the crystals into the dome where they will be safe. Well with my master in possession of two of the crystals there's only one left for us to collect. Come back soon, Master. Perf. The end of the episode.